What's going on, everybody? So uh, today I've got a uh, pretty cool knife review coming at you. Uh, first things first, um, I know we've been a little lax on the reviews lately. We've had a couple uh, couple things in, in life going on that have kind of taken precedent, but the goal and the hope is to be back and doing more reviews and, and giving you guys some more content. So uh, for those of you that already have, thank you for liking and subscribing. Uh, if you like the content, you want to see more, um, please do that. Like, subscribe. It helps grow the channel. I'd love to uh, be able to do a lot more of this in the future. So, uh, But without further ado, let's get into the knife for today. So the knife for today is the SEAF or the SEAF. Uh, I've heard the makers say it both ways. Um, knife. So uh, if you remember about a year or so ago, um, Wolf 40 and the guys over at Ford Observations Group put out a, uh, a junior version of this knife. Since then, they've been working on this full size and it is actually uh, here in production uh, or has been produced rather, obviously, because it's in my hand. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I was able to pick it up. Super fast shipping on their part. Um, we'll go over some pros and cons. Uh, I know off the bat, there are quite a few people that uh, in comments on different message boards and Facebook groups that were not happy about the steel personally, or for the price point, I guess I should say. Uh, for me, I like the steel. I think it works. It does its job. Um, and also there's an added piece to this for me. Um, you know, Wolf 40 is uh, a special operations veteran, as are the other two guys that helped design this knife. And, um, you know, he's going through some pretty heavy medical stuff. So part of the proceeds go to that. So there's a feel good feeling or factor, I guess you could say, that goes in with it. Um, you know, take it for what you will. I'm sure there'll be critics, but man, leave something positive in the comments if you can. So this knife is uh, with the sheath. The weight comes in at 4.8 ounces. Without the sheath, it is 3.8 ounces. So this little guy only weighs about an ounce. Um, at first, I was actually pretty underwhelmed with this sheath. Um, if you notice, it's riveted in one place. So you can't flip it. However, if you're not an idiot like me and you actually <laughs> read the description uh, of the sheath on the website, uh, you'll notice something. So try to do this without stabbing myself in the hand. So you can place your sheath here or your knife in the sheath as, as such, it snaps into place. Or again, trying not to stab myself in the hand. So the clip doesn't flip, the knife does. Pretty interesting concept. Uh, I like it, uh, especially you know for the design and the purpose that they built this knife for. It is a hard use knife, um, according to the to the makers. Uh, I do not know the uh, exact. I do know the exact maker of the knife. Um, I do not have it in front of me. I'll put it in the description below. But it is not half face blades as the junior was. Uh, in a later video, uh, I'll do a side by side uh, so you can see both of them um, and. You know, we'll do a couple pros and cons to each. Uh, so again, kind of underwhelmed with the sheath to begin with, but uh, I do like the form factor. Uh, I'll be honest, I, I, this is probably the size-wise, probably my favorite size sheath that I have. Uh, and now that I actually read and played around with this, I do like the fact that it goes in both ways. Um, the only other thing that I'll comment on that could be a negative and I have to play with it some more, um, these rivets are much smaller than the standard rivets that come on uh, a couple other sheaths that I have, so hopefully this will mount up pretty well, but um, other than that, I really like it. To adjust the retention, you take these two tips and you can either push them in and you got to push them pretty hard or pull them out, um, but it comes with a, a really solid lockup and retention, so in, there you go. Uh, another piece that I wasn't thrilled about, but it's not a deal killer, uh, if you listen, does have a little bit of rattle to it, but I do believe that's because of the ability to flip. Again, I'm trying to do this on camera. It is very easy to get in and out. There we go. Uh, flip the sheath so it's not an exact form fit. Enough about the sheath. The knife itself, like I said, eight inches overall, four inch blade. Um, at the widest point on the spine, uh, it is a tad over an inch, so one. 0 0.06 inches is what the stats say. Um, I have not gotten calipers out to double check that. I'm just taking them for their word on it. Um, the steel, again, on a couple of forms, this was something that people were a little frustrated with. Personally, I'm fine with it. Uh, and I believe, well, there we go. Cool. Stab myself a little bit. <laughs> um, I believe that in the frustration was around the, the price point versus 
the uh, the steel that was being used. The steel is a CPM 154. Um, I've had it on a bunch of knives. I think it's great. The comments were, you know, hey, you can get this on a Benchmade for 150 bucks. This is not a $150 knife. Um, if you're looking for the price, uh, it's uh, it's all over a couple different websites and, and groups. So go check it out. Um, but for me, you know, uh, I the steel, yes, is important. It came out of the box razor sharp. We'll see how the edge holds up. Uh, I wanted one to match my my junior. And again, also wanted to support Wolf 40 and the boys, especially with Wolf 40's health issues. Um, the other thing that's kind of interesting about this, and I, you know, if you've experienced this in the comments, please let me know. I have not. Um, this blade finish is called a salt bath nitride. Uh, they went out of their way to call that out. Uh, and also in one of their Instagram posts was saying that basically after it's heat treated, um, this is baked into the metal. It's not a coating on top of the metal. It marries up via some sort of heat and other, uh, sorcery, we'll call it. <laughs> um, I don't know a whole lot about it. I'll be very interested to see how it holds up according to the guys uh, that made the knife. Um, this is something that holds up better than a standard, um, than a standard uh, Cerakote. So we'll see. Um, the handle is G10. Uh, the two things that we'll note on the handle, uh, since this was not made by Half Face Blades, it does not have the signature Half Face Blades Chaos Grip. Uh, in the in the G10. Uh, I miss that. I just aesthetically I like it. It feels good in the hand. However, speaking of feeling good in the hand, uh, the design on this uh, is feels really good. I don't feel any hot spots. Nothing feels super uh, sharp or anything like that. Again, this is a tabletop review though. This is not a um, this is not a uh, hey, I've used it for six months. I just got this knife last night. So, um, you know, nothing uh, hard use on it yet. So, uh, as, as it gets used and, and get more info on it, I'll, I'll be sure to update in a, in a later video. Uh, I did say, so as I said, it did come out of the box razor sharp. Uh, the other thing with the handle scales that I really like, um, is this, uh, let's see, can we get it to focus? There we go. So if you notice the bolts are underneath or below the surface of the handle. I really do like that. Um, so you don't feel them. I mean, obviously if you stick your finger down there, you can feel it, but it's not sticking out uh, and poking you in the hand. Um, so overall great. Uh, I do, I know I just said I, I missed the, um, the half face blades, uh, chaos grip or, you know, chaos pattern, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I do like this though. Kind of gives your fingers a guide, um, and, and gives you something to lock into a little bit. All in all, I think it's a great knife, uh, for a size comparison, if you need it, um, you know, this is around the size of a half face blades disaster junior. So a little bit smaller than a crow junior. Um, but, uh, you know, and if, if that's not, uh, a reference enough for you, anything, any knife that you've got, that's around eight inches long is about, you know, similar. All in all, I really like this knife feels great in the hand. They did a very good job with the handle. It's balanced. Well, it came again, razor sharp. Uh, supports a good cause for Wolf, Wolf 40. Uh, if you haven't, go check him out at Wolf, so W-O-L-F underscore 40, F-O-R-T-Y, uh, on Instagram. It's where he posts everything. There are more of these coming. It just takes him a little bit of time. Uh, and again, I will um, do my best to remember to post the maker of the knife um, or the company in the, uh, in the comments. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope this was beneficial for you. Um, would love to see some positive comments. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, we've got more knife videos coming. Um, again, we've been a little off track here lately, but hoping to bring you some more content soon. And not just knives, hoping to bring you some additional gear reviews as well. Thank you again. Hope you guys have a great day.